And a local pizza place in Marlboro has people waiting for hours for one last slice of pie from Happy Joe's on Watson. Fox News Mallory Thomas spoke with customers in line about the memories they've made at Happy Joe's over the last several decades. Mallory. Well, I am learning that people love Happy Joe's. That's really the biggest thing that I have learned today. So back here is where the cash register is. The line today wrapped through the restaurant all the way out the front door, and then it really stopped about halfway into the parking lot. People say they just wanted to come out here one more time for one last time with their family. It's just the atmosphere. It's almost like it takes, takes on like a life of its own. You feel it when you walk in. Uh, it's you know almost like you're seeing ghosts, and it, but in a good way. So yeah, it is. It's just it is a pretty pretty special feeling right now. The nostalgia and memories come flooding back of decades worth of birthdays and celebrations here at Happy Joe's. I came here before I even had kids. I've been coming here with nieces and nephews who are now grown with their own kids, and we they played games. They would win tickets and get little prizes. The prize wall is empty, but that isn't stopping kids from playing the games one last time. I've won a ton of stuff here, and it's really fun. Employees are working hard. Oven is running hot all day long, and customers are waiting for several hours for their pizza. Everyone is here for one thing. It's, it's just a, a good flavor, good toppings. They, they just really make a good pizza, and they're working their butts off back there right now. The smells come right, they hit you when you walk in, you know, the taco pizza sauce. Customers say they had to make one last memory here before it closes. My mom brought me as a kid for my birthday, now I bring him. So it's definitely been like a legacy uh, and a family tradition over the years. So it's sad to see it go, but it's been, yeah, that's why we had to come. We couldn't miss this. Now there is a sign on the front door that says they're going to be closed Saturday and Sunday, so there's still time to make it out tomorrow. And of course, you can head over to the St. Peter's location also if you can't make it over to this one. Live in Marlboro, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.